Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be watching Jungle, which is a film with Daniel Radcliffe in it. Why am I watching it? Well, basically, I saw an interview with Daniel Radcliffe recently and I really like him. And he mentioned a scene in which he pulls something out of himself. And uh, my brain went, I want to see it. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Uh, I have no idea what else the film is about. It's about a jungle, I guess. Hopefully uh, it's a good film. I would just say first as well that I, I also do appreciate Daniel Radcliffe, you know. I, I, I admire the kind of actor that he is and the choices that he makes, you know, after Potter. He went straight into kind of stuff that was a bit out there. So I appreciate his choices. I enjoy him. I enjoy him as an actor. I also, by the way, have been compared to him on this channel in the comments and growing up, I because I wear contacts, these wear glasses. Little known fact is that I get compared to him quite a lot. So I don't know what you're going to do with that information. Enjoy my hopes for this film so far. It's not started yet, but are that it is as weird as possible. Amazing, true story. Get, get me. I left to be fair, in 1980, after three years in the army. Oh, is he doing an accent? City, work, Good on marriage. Him. Do you know what? If that's Dan, it sounds all right, you know. Yeah, like he's one of those actors that I really enjoy watching. Maybe it's because he looks like me, and I like watching myself. I don't know. Hey, read into it what you will. Oh, love interest. But you know, it's the he makes the kind of choices that you kind of it makes me want to see him because it's like it's like oh, what's he gonna do next? That kind of is. Because I feel like he makes choices that are very much outside of Harry Potter, right? So it's like, I, I look forward to it, uh, watching him in something because he does make those choices, which and it's interesting, you know? A lot of actors don't do that. And you? Yeah. All right, it's early days, right? It's like, <laughs> it's like two minutes into the film, but his accent's good so far. So let's see how that pans out. Morning. Morning. She likes you. <laughs> I like his hat. Less so that one. I don't think it suits him, but fair play to you, mate. Bold, bold choice. Hey, hey! Oh my god! Hey, my god! I'll be honest, right? I saw that guy and I was like, he looks like the douchebag. Do you know what I mean? Sierras get some more shots. And hey, this is. And then he and then he started speaking an American accent. And I know a lot of people from America watch my uh, channel, so don't please don't be offended. All right, I didn't hear him before I saw him. Oh, just bang. Just bang. That's the third look. That is the third look that they've shared so far. Just get it over with. Get it over with. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm sorry. That'll be the, the, the one and only Harry Potter reference. I apologise. It's too easy. Nope. Oh, suspicious. What are you up to, fella? Dan, watch your pockets. Watch your penis. Are you American? There's nothing like the jungle at night. It's the most alive sound. Insects, birds. Hang on, I'm, I'm not wrong, right? This guy came up to Dan and was like, hey, 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 come here. You want to go to the jungle? All right. This guy, Carl, who I met, is very nice. He can take us there. How do you know that Carl is telling the truth? He pans for gold. He's friends with you. He could be making all of this up. It's no. like a spiel for him. You yeah, trust this guy. I am very skeptical about this guy, the guy. Yeah, Dan, listen to your friends, mate. That's what he said. Man, some people actually live like this. It's wild, like, like good on them, seriously. Like big respect to people just that go out and explore. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> We're going to have the best time. This is, yes! <laughs> oh, they all getting fucked up. I don't want anyone to die. Right? I just want to get like a little bit fucked up. That's where I'm at. We just followed the river. I do not trust this guy. I tell you what, this guy has really suckered him in. Seriously, can we just examine for a moment that this guy saw Dan walking down the street? For whatever reason, he was like, you. I guess because he looked like a tourist. But he was, he, he, he was like, Dan, come over, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he got talking, he was like, mate, it's fucking great. You should go there, you should go there. Ah, it's so dubious, man. But yeah, I suppose, I suppose to be fair, the kind of people, the kind of explorers, travellers that these guys are, there is like something in their brain that is not particularly like, oh, let's choose the safe option, right? There is an element of like, let's just, let's, let's, yeah, let's go there. Let's do it. Yeah, why not? You gotta have that, I guess. I guess that's why they do what they do. We don't like wild. We don't like untamed, we're obsessed with control. So, we ruined the whole planet and pride ourselves for 
creating stupid national parks with stupid rangers. So Ashley is bringing me round, I'll be honest with you. He has got a point, however, he is also making me feel like he's going to sabotage the fuck out of him. The Toromonas, they understand that they're part of a much bigger picture. They're smart. They're truly free. I like the theme of like freedom and like true freedom that the film seems to be going for so far. The whole thing that um, one of them was saying before about true freedom being, uh, you know, essentially completely autonomous in where you can go and what you can do and what truly defines you as free, as free, as free beings and how the people that live in these places are freer than we are, which I feel like there's a nice little argument to be made there. Nice little, nice little discussion, I think. I like that the film's doing that because I feel like the best films do do that kind of thing. They make you challenge whatever you kind of see as the norm. That'll be good, Papa. Because you have to provide for your hungry children, you know. Do you know what, though? I'm getting a sense that someone's gonna die. Carl! Stop! Why are you here, man? Uh, You're not enjoying any of this. Why did you come here? Hey! Don't be an asshole, mate. Quiet! Oh, tiger. I don't know where they are particularly. This could be any animal. Any animal at all. Please, let's take a Sounds like a tiger. Oh. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed. I don't want it to be a tiger. I'll be honest with you. Okay, I'm believing this guy a little bit more now. This is good. Oh. <laughs> Would they react that way? Um, I don't know, man. I'm dubious. That's a very Western... Hey, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. But, like, that seems like a very Western reaction. Mm, it's like if you mixed puke and shit, it would taste better than this. Heck <laughs> off. Cut it out! Things are way too happy. I don't trust it. <laughs> Keep your arms out. Look at the world. Perfectly balanced. The problem is us. All right, Thanos, fuck off. Okay, his trust level just, I, I, trust went down, mate. Trust went down. Solution is automation. Put a freaking computer in charge. No ego trips, no pride. Computer program for the common good. To be fair, until the uh, computers, you know, took over and became our overlords, that'd be a nice, that'd be a nice idea. And do you know what, fair play to him, like, we had our crack at it, we fucked up. Let him, let him, let him have a go. Let him have a go. Don't you shoot the monkey, sir, sir. Okay, Thanos. Oh. Oh, shoot it! I am, I am, I am all over the place with this guy. This is gonna be the best meat you ever tasted. This is the thing though that I don't get with meat eaters, right? Because like, hey, the, the film's not told me, they could all be vegan, and this is a very weird moment, but why do you discriminate about the meat that you eat, mate? Just, it's, Stop being weird about it. But I just, I can't, I mean, it... What do you think you're gonna eat out here? Berries, berries and leaves. But for real, like, I don't know, quite a while ago, several years ago, when I was a kid, like 10 years ago, in England, there was a big furore about there being like horse meat in some lasagnas. Everyone, everyone lost their fucking mind, mate. You'd, you'd think that they were feeding us human because everyone just like lost it. Everyone was furious, furious, and I like I I ate meat at that point, right? And I was like, who the fuck is? It's me. Ugh. like no one died, no one died, and it was like, oh well, it's not the point. I know, I want to know what meat. I just fucking it's the it's the same it's the same thing. Just say, man, meat eaters are weird. I am so hot. Holy fucking shit! I don't know how sweaty I look, but Jesus. Look at him, clinging onto his papa. Oh. Upset in the camp. I like the pacing so far. It's nice. It's not all just doom and gloom and weird stuff Even though I said I wanted that right. It's not all do you know what I mean? Like there's happy moments and good moments And it's like the, the exploring the traveling like you're feeling that because there are moments of that as well Like when they were in the village and when Dan had all the butterflies and stuff and it was nice and now there's like but now there's turmoil in the You know, it's kind of like it's doing this and it's just quite nice. It's quite a nice little boo -boo -boo. Sorry that I can't keep up. You know, this is not my fault. My feet are not my fault because of this. We are not friends anymore. Oh, Nothing's changed. Buddy. Yeah, tell him then. Tell him again. Oh, buddy, they're bad. They are okay. Fair play. I thought it was being a little bit, 
you know, like just pull it together, dude. But whew, they are a little bit scratchy. This river is not easy. Is it runnable? I guess. Well, then it's doable. I'm in, Marcus. I don't know, man. The guy that's been leading you through here does not look happy about that. And I will be honest, my trust has come back for him. Is he, he was caring about the glasses, dude. So, yeah, I don't like the look of that look. You must listen to everything I say, okay? Yeah. Okay? You're the captain. Ah, do you know what? My, I feel like my assessment of douchebag was like a little bit more spot on than what I, what, what I thought it might be. I'll be honest, right? I am at the moment going through like a, a, a rewatch slash watch of The Walking Dead, and every time they scream and make sounds, I'm like, stop it! Dude, it's fine, you're not watching The Walking Dead. You okay? Mm -hmm. He's not okay. Douchebag. I mean, did I call it or did I call it? It's not Oregon. Dude, don't you get it? <laughs> Rinse him, mate. Rinse him. Get him. And Captain America here can go and fuck himself. Nice. You know what I think? Carl can't swim. Well, uh, maybe. That's fine though. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's as big a revelation as as it as they just made out. Who cares? It's fine. To be honest, as as much as I am dubious about his character, at times. Right? He has proven himself as a navigator. He knows where he's going. He knows the people. He knows the terrain and he can survive, right? So I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't trust the American guy. I just I, I feel like he's a little bit of a loose cannon at this point. And he's he's so in discord in the group, you know. Don't appreciate it, mate. I thought this film was done on his own, I'll be honest with you. So I'm kind of I'll be honest, I'm kinda of waiting for that to happen. Come on, let's go. Go ahead, good luck. <laughs> Walking out from here. No more river for me. I'm hiking to Imperama. It's three days. You can come with me or you can be fish food. I don't give a shit. Whatever the fuck you want. Good on him. Good on him. I go and take a nice dump. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, he's really grown on me. <laughs> nice. He deserved that. American guy deserved it. Not being funny, Carl's the only one that knows what the fuck he's doing. I've been talking to Kevin. And he's going to continue on the river. You can't go alone, that's going to be... I know, Marcus, I know. I... Look, if he goes on his own, he's never gonna make it, right? So one of us has to go with him. Marcus, your feet are bad. You can't get back on the raft, right? My feet are fine. Buddy, get him out. Whip him out. I'm bathing him every day since we started building... Whip him the fuck out. Show me your feet. Show me your feet. Not like that. I would rather go out with Carl. Just get out in three days. <laughs> done nice. Done. Get out. Get out, so mate. if that's okay with you, maybe just you and Kevin go on the raft. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but I can't go out with him alone. My feet, they slowed down the whole trip, and I'm so sorry. Well, you changed your tune, sir. If it's okay with you, I would... I would really like to go with Carl. Okay. I feel like now that he... Uh, the thing that happened there was that Dan showed him that it was, it's okay to go back and not... And it's like, you don't have to be a man. To like you know carry carry on kind of thing and it's okay to just go back and he was like oh okay no okay that was my past i can go now i like that i like that moment it was very human it was very very natural it's a beach on the right side you have to stop there this guy has so much information I aragorn he's aragorn and food we split 50 50. no no you need more we'll be out in three days look at this guy he knows what the fuck he's talking about they're dumb they're so dumb for like leaving I feel like this is where the movie gets a bit fucking mental. Lake Titicaca. Lake Titicaca? That was not what he said. Nah. Can't have been that. Someone's not getting out alive. Someone. And I can't tell who it is just yet. I kind of feel like it's going to be douchebag. I don't know though. I feel like it might be that guy. Is Carl going to shoot him? Is he? Because this is the thing, that's where the, like, that, that thing that I was talking about before comes in, you know, that kind of thing that I feel like explorers must have, that it's like, they kind of choose the dangerous thing, because it's kind of, like, excites them. I feel like, because you saw it just then, there was, like, that little, like, little spark of excitement about this, even though it's the most dumb, dangerous move. 
which is nice because it kind of translates to the audience and I'm like oh yeah because I kind of want to see what happens like with these two and it's kind of like I felt like there was going to be like a culling of the group some somewhere and now it's happened it's like right mm, let's go see what happens yeah maybe I can make it home for Christmas oh come on Phil come on someone's not making it home there's still an hour of daylight left I think we try to get closer to the canyon oh they're definitely going to get caught in the canyon oh yeah oh yeah Here we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's okay, hold on, Yashi. I'm gonna make it. I'm not leaving you. I'm <laughs> oh, rest in peace. Oh wow, he made it. Genuinely surprised. Well done, mate. My guy. You know what? He's doing okay. Nice. I feel like the biggest loss here, though, is, you know, the raft with the food. And the supplies. But yeah, I really like the pacing so far. I think like like I was saying before, um, because I felt like the film was going towards getting Dan on his own. And we're about an hour in. Yeah, we've got like an hour left. So it's like it did a nice job of kind of pacing it so far that you weren't like bored of like, come on, get to the good bit. Kind of built it up nicely and, and you know, the, the people and the characters and their dynamic and, and you know, there was conflict there and good stuff and blah 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 blah. It was all you know, it was all nice. But now it's like Ugh. And Dan's kind of, you know, on his own, and it's like, right, fucking show me, show me the shit show. You're a climber, Harry. No, he ain't. Wingardium Levit, no. No. Man, yeah, so he's got nothing. He's gonna be eating some weird shit. Oh, mmm, no tent. Oh, fuck. Shit, man. That went well. Oh, bless him. Good on him. I don't think American boy, I don't think he's getting out of there, man. God, that's a big fucking forest, isn't it? Here we go. Here comes the moment of like, what can I eat? Oh. Hey man, that went fine. That went fine. One of two things would have happened there, either that or a snake to the face. I know which one I'm choosing, mate. That's what I'm saying. Oh wow. Oh hello. Fucking Tarzan. Jesus. I tell you what, he grabbed that with confidence. Oh man, nah. Do you know what? I'll tell you what, he is waking up to something. Something on him. Uh, right, I'll be honest, okay. This film's gonna be a success. If I get through it without seeing a spider. Dan, you are not filling me with confidence. That is not the, that is not the face of a confident man. Show me, show me, show, hey, show me the snake man. Torch down, mate, torch down. Oh, webs, no, no. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh no, that's not what you want to see, is it? Yeah, because this was the si that 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 thing, and um, him having to take it out was what Daniel Radcliffe was talking about in the interview that I saw. And apparently, he did say that the real guy. I completely forgot there was a true story, but apparently, the real guy had like it was accurate, but the real guy had to pull out like twenty of those, like a lot more basically. So like, if anything, the film was toned down. Which I loved. I loved that. It's kind of what it's kind of what made me want to watch it. Dude, stop shining the torch, man. All that's gonna do is make sure that you see it coming. And I, I don't know about you, I'd be like, fuck that. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the inevitable demise. <sighs> yeah, that'll do it. I don't know why I'm cringing. This is the reason I watch this film. <sighs> ah, come on. That's in like the top, top 10 things you don't want coming out of you. Well, Tyler, what are the other nine? You don't get to fucking know, okay? Personal information. Tell you what, though, right? Spider! Horrific and, you know, stuff aside, I bet that felt so good to get it out. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a big spot popper, but if I get, like, a real painful... If I've, if I've ever got a real painful one, I, I take vindictive pleasure in popping that little motherfucker. That was like that, but times 50. I bet ya. I bet ya. All I'm saying is that there was a moment of, like, oh, baby. 
Uh, how not to be the eggs? No, thank you. No, I'm good. I'm good. Dan. Dan. I'm sorry. Yeah, fair, fair. Do you know what? You apologised. I appreciate that. I do. Don't like those sounds. I don't like. Oh, buddy. Oh, shit. How? Tell you what, if I was a foot guy, this would not be a good day for me. <laughs> I just didn't want to be the weakest. I was more scared than you. Oh. Because I'm a coward. No, hey Dan, hey, no, come on. Man. Because I'm a coward and I deserve all of this. Hey, buddy, come here. Come here, come here. Hey, talk to me. Stop it. Hey, I liked him about five minutes ago. You were like, you can get there on those feet. I mean, honestly, I didn't see the feet, admittedly, when he said that. But still, right? Dan, hey, you got this, man. You got this. I believe in you. I believe in you. Fucking got it, mate. Fucking big it up. You will not see one shekel from me. I don't need your money. I'm not asking. See, right, okay. I don't know whether it's my own personal experiences, but that little flashback scene is kind of like relatable in a way. So it makes me really kind of sympathize with him. It really made me sympathize. Like that scene there, and I imagine it probably wouldn't work for everybody, but that scene there kind of really made me want him to succeed and get out of this and feel like it made me feel sorry for him. And I was like, come on, mate. I, I want him to succeed. I want him to, I want this to work. <laughs> That's what I do. I see like a platter of food on there and I'd be like, do you know what? I'm gonna hang out here. Don't worry about me. Hey, you entertain yourself. I just, I gotta finish this. Don't do that. Do you know what? I'd be like, alright love, do you know what? Fuck off. Going back to the platter. Oh, sweet. Well, he was lucky as fuck. Do you know what? I mean, fair play to him. I feel like there was a lot of luck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what his journey was like. It has been almost three weeks. Oh shit. There is no one to look for. Listen to me, I want to help you really, really bad. Oh, bless Ruiz. You, you, you say I that. I can't. I can't. Really. You can't. Do you know what? Uh, if I were witnessing this scene without any information, I'd be like, I'm on Ruiz's side. Like, dude, you were lucky to get the fuck out. Go home. Go home, mate. There is maybe someone who can help. Gandalf? I'm vivo. I need que me ayudes a encontrarlo. No, no puedo. It's so wild. I'm showing my, my own culture, I guess, but like, it's it's wild to me that those guys live in a place where they're like, no, if you're lost out there, you're gone. That's it. Th there's a place that, that's so unforgiving as that. And don't get me wrong, like, I know those places exist, but like, ah, oh, man, it's just fucking wild. And that they live in the midst of that. For me, speaking for myself, like, because I'm so far removed from it to see I guess, and to be reminded that there are still places like that in the world, it's kind of like this wondrous thing and like this terrifying thing all at the same time. We grow up and we, we live and we're conditioned in this kind of environment, this Western environment that we, that we, that I live in and the kind of the space on this earth that I inhabit that, you know, something like this is just, I, I think that's why, I, I think that's why our culture is so, like Western culture is so fascinating, so curious about this, about like the Amazon and, and you know, the people that live there, the indigenous people that live there and the people that aren't um, so removed from our world, but they still live there. Ah, it's just this interesting thing that that kind of a place exists still on this earth. And I like that, I do, I do, I like that, I love that. It's just super, super interesting. Even though like, I know what I'm saying, that sounds horrible because I'm like, well, oh, 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 fuck them, they're, they're dead. You know, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just like, uh, I'm just, you know, that, that somewhere so natural does still, for now, for now, exists. That's all I've got to say. Is this real? I don't know. All right, Dan, you cheeky little fucker. It's going to be all right. I know he meant it nicely, but... We can sleep now. And caress her, though. Oh, I fucking knew it, you little bitch. Nah, film. You didn't fool me. You didn't fool me. Nah. 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 Didn't. It didn't. You saw me. You saw me say that I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Right? Right? It had me for like a little second. Behave yourself, yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the big snake to turn up. Dan, how do you get yourself into this mess, dude? Jesus. Shit. 
I'll tell you, man. 19 days. So it's a long time. Wait, is that not the beach where he put the things? I mean, to be fair to this guy, he has done like everything he can do. I do agree. Yeah, that was where he put the message. My guy, look around you. What, what, he's there? Are you serious? What? Shout. Say something. Oh, he's gonna turn on the engine. Wait. Louder. 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 Yeah. Engine's on there. Hey, shit, mate. Are you serious? Don't do that to me, film. This is painful. Look. Oh my god. The look. The look. <laughs> nice. That was lucky as fuck, though. If that's how it went down. <gasps> Do you know what? Do you know what? Hang on. I thought that was... Did I say that? Because I can't remember. I know I thought it. I thought that Carl and the other guy weren't going to make it out. And I don't know if I said it or whether I thought it. I guess I'll find out in the edit. But, like, I thought they... Because it was the easy road. That that was, like, the last time they were going to see them. And they would never see them. I... Oh, I really hope I did. I really hope I called that because I, I thought that at the time. I was like, you know, it'd be really fucking poignant if, like, those guys on the easy path saying, like, oh, it's an easy three-day hike, didn't make it back, and the guys that weren't supposed to make it did make it. That's mental. That is crazy. Oh, man. Damn, though. So, Kevin, search for them as well. Damn, that's crap. Because that's so annoying. Because now I'm like, what the fuck happened to them? Oh, what? I, do you know what, though? I swear, I told you. I told you it was dubious. It was so dubious. That's crap. I, I, I believe that, though. I believe that. And clearly, and clearly, when they were making the film, they considered this and made it seem weird. Which is like they did a good job, because I, 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 was, I was clocking that from the, the off. So they did that really, really well. He'd taken Travelers and Treks before. Why was he wanted by the authorities? What, be, what, what, had he, what had he done with them? Is what I want to know. No one knows why he chose Yossi. That's mental. That's crazy, man. What the fuck? What did he do with Marcus then? But that's the thing. He didn't return either. What? This is almost more interesting than the film. <laughs> what? Made it his home. Do Okay. Wow. Whew. Do you know what? I can understand why they made the film. Like, absolutely. Those cards at the end of the, uh, the film were very interesting. Like I say, if anything, they were more interesting than the film. What was Carl about, man? Like, I'll be honest with you. Okay, so to wrap this, to wrap, to wrap this whole thing up, like, I enjoyed the film. I enjoyed the film. Like, it, it wasn't, like, groundbreaking. It was a nice adaptation of a true story. And the stuff at the end and that whole thing, like, it's super interesting, super interesting. I'll be honest with you, the, the Carl and Marcus thing, the fact that that whole, that blows my mind, that Carl, one, was wanted by the authorities, and not a surprise, by the way. Not a surprise. Sorry, it wasn't. It wasn't. That was dubious as fuck, man. Because it, it incites so much thought about it. Because I'll be thinking about that little, t that little card there, saying what happened to Carl and Marcus, and that whole thing. I'm going to be thinking about I'm going to be thinking about that. For, for like for like a long time wondering what happened and i'm never gonna know which annoys the shit out of me so that's super interesting daniel did really well like his accent was like i, I felt like it was really good but I'm an, I'm an english person and it was uh, so uh, do you know what i mean I, i'm not necessarily I, perhaps the best person to ask how well he did the accent but i i believed it i thought he did really well i think there, there were some genuine interesting uh, parts to the film i think the the thing at the beginning um, when they were kind of the idea that the film toys with and talks about about freedom who who's really f who's who's freer us in our western world with all our technology and, and freedom or um, the people in, in the Amazon who are in the wilderness and, and I found it so interesting I think because I relate to that a little bit so like okay I'm gonna straight off like these guys in here were explorers they're adventurers they're not it's not the same as what I'm about to say because okay so I, w I went traveling and it's not the same thing it's not the same thing at all it really isn't but I bring it up for one reason and so I, I went a bit of information real quick I went traveling for three months it was on my own um, I was gone for three months and, and that was that and it was a great experience and I loved it and it wasn't to find myself or any bullshit like that I just wanted to see more of the world that was it that was it and um, I remember um, the first place that I got to and I got this feeling 
of freedom that I, I don't think I'd experienced before or since then, where it was this like really unique feeling of like, I can go anywhere I want on the world, in the world. No one's going to stop me and I can do what I want. I can go see what I want. I can go like, and, and it was, and it was this moment of immense freedom that, yeah, like I say, I've never experienced before or since. So that's why that, that interests me so much because I've kind of tasted of it a little bit, not to the same extent as, as these guys are. That element and the, the theme that it kind of introduced very briefly, it didn't really touch on it again. It kind of just kind of it introduced it and then left you with it. Um, I like that a lot. And I think it's it's something that I think there there is a discussion to have about that, um, because like I say, that freedom that I felt in that moment, I live in the world that I live in now. I don't feel, not that I don't feel free, but I don't feel that. I I feel bound by things, um, whether that's by society, culture, whatever you want to say. I'm I'm just saying there's there's a there's a, an interesting conversation to be had when Kevin was going out to to trying to get the boat and to search for him, and there was that um, conversation that he had with the boat guy. And it was like, yeah, you're not going to find him, you know. And it, and it was that idea of there are pockets of the world where the wilderness still reigns supreme. And, and I think that the, the stuff that I talked about then and how fascinating that is to Westerners and, and you know, um, people like me, uh, you know, there is a curiosity there about it and the Amazon and all that stuff and things that are kind of untouched. It brings that up and, and it it kind of stands in stark contrast to the world that I live in. I think probably the world that a lot of people like me live in. And I really like that. I really like to like the demonstration of that and how wild it still can be. And it's nice to kind of see that that still exists because I think we as a race have kind of erased a lot of that and continue to erase a lot of that. So it's it's interesting to see that and, and, and that it still kind of reigns supreme in the world. Not supreme in the world, but it still reigns it, it's somewhere in the world and, and that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm sweaty as fuck, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it there. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy this, please consider subscribing. Uh, please consider liking the video and all that stuff as well. There are some links below. I am also an author. Please consider supporting the channel in any way you feel like you deem worthy. I do have a coffee account as well, so that's all down there. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.